Today's Jews claim to be the rightful ruler of the land of Israel, referencing to a 3,000-year bond with the land. But looking at the family tree of their current Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, we came to an eyebrow-raising conclusion. He was born 1948 to a Polish Jewish father and Lithuanian Jewish mother. His mother is born in 1912 in then Ottoman-ruled Palestine, but her ancestors can be traced back to 1835 as his grand-grandparents were Russian Jews from today's Lithuania. While there is no much info of his mother's family, his father's family is more interesting, but traces back to the same region in Lithuania. His father, Benzion Milejkowski, was a Polish Jew born in Warsaw in 1912. In 1944, he married Benjamin's mother, Zila Segel, whom he met during his studies in Palestine. The couple had three sons, Yonatan, who was killed in action leading Operation Entebbe in Uganda in 1976, Edo, and Benjamin, the current Prime Minister of Israel. Benzion was primarily an Israeli historian and has worked as a co-editor and as a professor at the University of Denver for Hebraic and Judaic studies. Beside his academic career, he had a more radical nationalistic side. Although Benzion was not really religious but secular, he believed that God gave the land to the native Jews and believed in a greater Israel. As a strong supporter of Zionism, he became the executive director of the New Zionist Organization of America and advocated for a more militant right-wing Jewish nationalism, hoping to convince U.S. Congress members to vote against the U.N. partition plan for Palestine in 1947. His ideology of revisionist Zionism believed in a necessity of of an iron wall between Israel and the Arab nations. Furthermore, he was in favor of the idea of an Arab transfer out of Palestine and stated in an interview that the Arabs are enemies and warmongers by essence. He might have been influenced by Benjamin's grandfather, Nathan Milikovsky, who was Jewish rabbi and Zionist at the same time. It was Nathan who changed the Russian name Milikovsky to Netanyahu in 1920, the year they moved to the British-mandated Palestine. Nathan himself was born 1879 in today's Belarus. He made a living out of leasing an agricultural estate in the nearby area of Kreva. At the age of 20, Milejkowski began promoting Zionism in the Siberia region, following a request to do so by the Zionist leader Yechiel Chlenov. In 1908, he moved to Poland, where he became the director of a Jewish school and continued promoting Zionism, going through hundreds of towns and becoming one of the most popular speakers. According to Benzion, the Milikowski family was one of the few families in the world who spoke Hebrew at that time. In 1926, he gave 700 lectures in the United States in a period of nine months. Going up in the family tree, Benjamin's great-grandparents on his father's side can also be traced back to what is now Lithuania. If you analyze the Jews' claim to the Holy Land in more detail based on their ancestors, you come to the conclusion that most of today's Jews living in Israel cannot really trace their ancestors back and the majority of them are so-called Ashkenazi Jews from today's Eastern Europe. And in fact, they are more Europeans than Semites.